Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the SEPA Universal Clip-On Towing Mirror on our 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Now having a towing mirror is going to be a really nice thing, especially when you're towing a trailer. It's going to give us that wider field of view so we can confidently change lanes, pull up to the campgrounds, or even just park our trailer. Because right now you can see me in the factory mirror, there's not a problem, you can see me right at the back of the trailer. But as I step outside of that view, you're going to lose track of me in the factory mirror. But that's where our towing mirror is going to come in. Depending on how you have it angled, you should be able to get a seamless view all the way over to the next lane. That way, if you do need to change lanes, park, or anything else, you can see everything that's going on. Because being able to have those visuals will definitely give you the confidence so that we get down the road safely and prevent us from having to stick our head out the window every few minutes. And our towing mirror is going to have a rather large mirror, and it's going to be a flat mirror, so we're going to get a really accurate depiction of what's behind us. We're not going to have to worry about a concave or convex mirror that may distort the image. Again, this is just going to be a really flat mirror so we can see exactly what's going on behind us. Now, the mirror is going to have a ball and socket on it, so we'll be able to rotate that mirror, get the angles we need. But if we want that wide angle view, we can have it sitting like this. Or if we want more of a taller view, we can actually rotate the mirror to where it's standing up. And again, just kind of get it into whatever position we need so we can see exactly what's going on. And the way the mirror is going to attach to our factory mirror is it'll have these tabs right here. These are going to go in between the mirror housing and the glass itself. And it'll just have a couple rubber straps that kind of cinch everything down and hold it in place. Now the rubber straps are going to do two major things for us. They're going to make sure that it gives our mirror a nice firm grip. It's not going to be moving around or falling off, but it's also going to protect our mirror. If you happen to have the painted caps or the chrome caps, the rubber is going to make sure that it doesn't cause any kind of scratches or abrasions. But at the same time, if you have the black, black plastic caps like we have here, they kind of blend in nicely so it's not this extra big eyesore that's on your mirror. Now I know a lot of you may be thinking, well, I don't always have that space for an extra mirror to stick out. Maybe we have to park, pull in our garage, or any situation where we just can't have it on there. Well, we can still actually fold the mirrors in without removing the towing mirror. So if we do need that little bit of space, we can just fold our mirrors in without having to remove those and then put them back on when we want to start towing. I know since the plastic here is really close to the glass, since it isn't going to go in between the housing and the glass, you may be wondering, well, can I still adjust my mirror? Well, and you completely can. We can still get our mirror to adjust up and down, left and right, and still get that angle to view everything we need to behind us. Now, what I really like about this mirror is it does have a universal design. So if you have several different vehicles that you tow within your family, chances are this might fit that as well. Now this mirror is going to come as a quantity of one, or you can pick up the set if you want one for each side. In fact, let's go ahead and put the passenger side on together. To start out, we want to grab our mirror. We're going to open up the arms. We're going to come to this knob at the very back of the mirror. We want to loosen that up. We don't even want to take it completely out, but we want to make sure it's nice and loose and we have plenty of movement within the arms and the mirror itself is going to move around freely as well. Now if we pay attention to these small tabs here, the two tabs are going to fit in between the mirror housing and the mirror glass. So we'll have one on the bottom and one set on the top. So you want to make sure you put the straps over the top since we're on the passenger side. And then again, we're just going to take those little tabs, make sure they kind of grip onto the edge of the mirror there. And you just want to hold it with your hand for now. And we'll take the rubber strap. You'll notice it's got a little square hole in there. We want to bring that down and around to the bottom arm. And if we look on the bottom arm here, we're going to have a little tab, and that's what that clip is going to hook onto. I'm going to bring that strap around. I want to make sure there's a little bit of tension on it, and then we'll hook it on to that little tab on the end there. Now, the straps are too tight. We can loosen them up by feeding the strap through and lengthening it, but if it's too loose, you want to feed the strap through to where it tightens it up. We'll just bring the strap around, hook on the other one. You want to make sure you come back to that turn knob, get your mirror adjusted to how you want it, then you're going to want to tighten it down to make sure it's not going to move around on us. 
Then all we need to do is make those minor adjustments so we can see what's going on around us, hook up to our trailer, and we're ready to roll. That'll finish up your look at the SEPA Universal Towing Mirror on our 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.